Hello everybody, my name is Love With Your Poop and welcome to my new car. Now many of y'all that follow me on Twitter and Instagram and that are in my Discord server know that uh, I've been searching for a new car and uh, this is it. Sorry there's a car coming. Anyway, sorry there were cars coming, but this is it. This is a 1991 BMW 318i, an E30 convertible. Here comes another car. And you can see it is just absolutely beautiful. God damn, you would think I picked a main road or something, which I did. I'm here in Cameron Park in Waco, but anyways, it is a uh, 1991 BMW 318i. This has the M42B18, I want to say, four, uh, 1.8 liter four cylinder dual overhead cam. And man, this thing, oh, it's just a dream. It's so fun to drive. It's got a Flowmaster exhaust on it, which you can see the exhaust pipe right there. Uh, I have a, I have an audio recorder that was supposed to uh, that was supposed to work for me to uh, get better audio, but it shit out on me. So this is just GoPro audio. So sorry if it doesn't sound too great. But yeah, this is the interior of it. The interior, I think it looks pretty good for a car that is 26 years old. I mean, that's a car that's yeah, it was born the year before me. And you can see there's uh, there's like a little split in the seat right here, and there's some cracks right along the top of the back seats here. But I mean, overall, like the driver's seat looks fantastic, especially compared to a lot of the other E30 BMWs I saw for sale. Like the only, the only damage or damage, the only imperfection with the seat is just the little crack on the bolster right here, and then a little guy down here. So it's really not too bad. The seats look absolutely beautiful in my in my opinion. I mean, aside from like this little guy right here, oh, it's the Bear Mountain truck. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the bike shot. But anyways, back to the car. Uh, you can see the dashboard is beautiful. It does have a little bit of a crack, like right about here and somewhere else. But most of the ones I saw for sale had cracks all along, like right here and everything. Uh, it does have the M Tech steering wheel on it, so you know it's it's got like the little M coloring there, and also it has the M Tech shifter. It is a five speed, and it is fantastic shifts absolutely wonderfully but yeah leather wrap steering wheel a little little bit of imperfection right there i don't know maybe i'll maybe i'll rewrap the steering wheel myself or get a new one or something but yeah it is an absolute dream to drive i absolutely love it it does have its imperfections but i intend to i intend to fix those and you know i intend to uh make it like new again so i mean you can see some of the imperfections like right here He was doing that because he knew I was recording him. That was a nice little challenge there. Anyway, some of the imperfections, like like along the door here and like the trim along right here, uh, you know, it is missing there. But I don't I don't think that'll be too hard to replace. I mean, really, like I said, for a car that's 26 years old, I think it looks pretty goddamn good in my opinion. And here you can even see the trunk is just absolutely beautiful on the inside. It's it's a little dirty. I haven't vacuumed it out or anything, but I mean, the trunk is totally beautiful. I did have to get, I mean, my spare toolkit just in case I need it. Uh, some duct tape and stuff and some saran wrap for the flop top because the window has a hole in it. But I intend to get a new one or have it repaired or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, there is no spare wheel, but there's my locking, uh, my, my locking lug, uh, lug studs in there. But dude, listen, listen to the way this trunk closes. It's 26 years old. And, but I mean, it has the hydraulics right here. Listen to it. That is a solid thunk. That does not sound like a 26 year old car. And the previous owner, he did include this handy dandy screwdriver. And let me show you why. Because if you want to go and open the hood, then the, uh, the hood latch or the hood latch release, whatever is right there, that doesn't do shit. So what you have to do is you gotta jam this big old screwdriver in there and give her a turn. And then she pops right up. And it is one of those, uh, one of those crazy funky uh, forward raise hoods. So you can see there's the engine. That is the M42 B18, I think? B18, B something? 1.8 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's it needs a new battery. It has been so hard to find this battery because you see, 
expires October of 2010. That's about uh, it's about six years too late. But anyways, it is. I, I'm in love with this car. Let's get to driving it. First, let's show you how you close the hood. You just flop it down like that, and then you just push straight down right here. Just and that's it. All right, time to go ahead and start her up. Oh, she sounds so good with that Flowmaster exhaust. Oh, yes. I absolutely am in love with that sound. All right, well, I'm not sure how well it's going to capture my voice over the sound of the car and the wind because this is a convertible, so I'm just going to shut up and do a little bit of driving here. It does sound so good. Oh, I love it. It has a 4.27 final drive ratio. So its top speed is, uh, it's not, top speed isn't too good, but it does accelerate and it does get up and go quite a bit. And sorry if the camera's pointed down, I am using the Karma Grip because for some reason, goddamn GoPro battery decided to die on me after I let it, I let it charge on that. I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyways. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, baby. I'll try to keep close to the GoPro. Here it is with the uh, with the flop top up. You can see it's uh, there's no like real big tears or anything right there. I mean it's it is kind of coming apart like right along here and stuff. So yeah, that doesn't uh, doesn't really look too great right there. But I'm hoping that I can find somebody that can sew that up because I mean I can feel my fingers on the edge right there. And also the back window it does have a big hole. So I know it looks really bad with the roof up but I had to do something to keep like morning dew and shit from getting in there. Uh, the guy, he did give me a second flop top that uh, the backside is actually clearer on the other one, but it's like along down here, it is like all like all separated and there's no way it's gonna keep water out down there. So, you know, I have this one on for the time being. I'm really hoping that, I don't know, somebody like an auto repair place or an auto glass specialist, I should say, would be able to uh, fix that a little bit better and then over here you can see it kind of looks like you tried to put something like I don't know some fucking gorilla glue or something because it looks like it looks like the kind of glue that foams up or something so you know the soft top it does need 
Uh, it does need some work, you know. Ruby is beautiful, but she does need some loving. Uh, fortunately, a new soft top is only about like, it's only about, I wanna say like 450 bucks that I saw on Amazon and eBay and other things. But yeah, she is just an absolute beautiful car. And I, I love her. I'm going to be doing a series on this car about uh about fixing her up you know getting fixed you know like fixing up some of the things inside uh maybe if i decide to upgrade some things you know be doing some upgrade videos and also just uh you know just videos cruising around and loving ruby yeah she is uh again she's a 1991 bmw 318i uh that's the e30 chassis which i have just always been in love with the e30s they are just some beautiful little cars anyways yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below be sure to like this video if you liked it oh also uh some of the upgrades the previous owner did uh, authentic BBS wheels and I did actually put some locking lug nuts on there today because I cannot afford to replace a set of BBS wheels. Uh, Bilstein suspension, uh, Flowmaster exhaust and uh, yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it for the upgrades aside from the MTech steering wheel and uh, shifter in there but yeah so anyways be sure to like this if you like it. Uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you thought. If y'all have any ideas for uh, you know for things to do to, to ruby then uh let me know and i'll be happy to hear it but anyways thank you all so much for watching and as always i will see all of you in the next episode goodbye